What's up guys, we're here at Team Solomon Circus. We're here with Thomas. He got third place today with Share Elements. Any shout outs you want to give today, Thomas? Uh, shout out to Merley. Uh, no, the best level two in the game. Uh, Hope you over here. <laughs> Dude, this is actually the level, that's the best level two in the game. You send it off sprint, you get the fuse. I don't know. Before we dive in, over the like, comment, subscribe, and well, let's dive in with this copium. Uh, so, standard tier list, you play one of every tier because you want to play the, the deck. Uh, then I'm playing three Rattle Heart. Uh, three Rattle Heart is because it's the best mill. And it's also kind of like one of the better normal summons in the deck, but it's mostly a better mill because you play cross sheet, so you'd end on cross sheet on your opponent's turn, and you can summon back Reinhardt off cross sheet, so that way you can basically have two fusion summons. Um, and then next for tier card, you're playing uh, three tier cash. Uh, it's just the best extender in the deck. It helps you mill more, so. Uh, yeah, it's no reason not to play less than three. I'm gonna play one Fenrir. The Fenrir search is for tier cast, so it's like engine. And I'm only playing one because it's not a great mill. It doesn't really do anything when it's in the graveyard. And you only want it, like, as a first card in your hand or, uh, going second. And for field spells, I'm playing three plus one great soft. I like this ratio because you want to see your tier cards more than you want to see your, your friend rear. Going second, you probably want to see this more, but I'm playing Thrust, so like you can, you have a higher chance of seeing this going second anyways with Thrust. Uh, but you generally don't want to see Fenrir that much, and Cash isn't really a deck that I'm scared of right now, because it doesn't exist at locals, so I, my deck isn't built for Cash. Uh, then I'm playing Terraforming for the Field Spells, so I'm playing five Field Spells. Then next for tier cards, two screens, one heartbeat, one grief. Uh, I thought about playing three screen because it helps you extend more. And the heartbeat, grief thing, these cards kind of come up because you mill so much. And I'm playing this deck to play more with the trap cards, so I'm playing uh, one of every single tier card actually. It's because like ending on just any two tier trap card is really good. So I might as well like go all in on that. And it, does, it plays less into like Dark Ruler and stuff. So these just help. This helps you extend further sometimes as Polish. So just having the options is nice. Also Harpy is good against Pearly. Uh, and then I'm playing one Trivi Karma because it searches for Woody and Cardier. So you have a lot of options if you mill this. And with the Trivi Karma, I'm also playing the one Polish Burial Goods. So that way, any of your, if you have Polish Burial Goods, you can search for any trap card, you can search for any spell card, you can search for the planets. So you have a lot of options with Polish Burial Goods. Next, issues of cards, one of every one. Uh, you sometimes side out Mentora because it's not that good. It's mostly because like this deck is really good going first. So you want to play two Shufflers because Shufflers are decent right now. But these are the primary cards you play because they smell more. And then you have to play three King with a Swab with one Poly. Uh, it just you just have to play these because otherwise you can't really fuse as much. And then I'm playing three Chanel cards. Uh, with the schism. So these cards are kind of self-explanatory. Falco, uh, it's like Shunping Zhu was playing at Nats and his idea, like it, it was, a, it was cool because it's a level two tuner so you can make Baron with it, but also it's also another Chanel card so it makes your Chanel engine like much more easier to access. And that's why I'm playing schism with their King of Swamp because like Shunping Zhu's list, you're trying to get two skids on every turn, so you don't lose like too many board breakers. Uh, and last non engine, I'm playing three super poly. It's just okay right now. It, it depends on a matchup, but like, it's decent. Extra deck, uh, one real close, one Kaleido Heart, Graph, uh, and Rangwood Oil. These are your King of the Swamp targets. Uh, you go for these two cards most of the time. This helps you get, like you're playing a more tier engine, so going for Collider Heart is really good. But if you don't have like a heavy tier engine, you can go for Grand Granoid to get your Chanel engine. And with the Grand Granoid, you play Aplum, Winda, 
Second dog up. Uh, this you send it off of Rangan oil. Sometimes you make it with Schism. Uh, Winda, you you make it sometimes with your combo, like after you uh, cross, you bring back Rattle Heart into making Winda. But second Naga is mostly for going second when you're playing Shadal Fusion, because you get so much value at Shadal Fusion with second Naga. And then Super Poly Target, uh, Dracos Topelia, it's also generic. Garura, my Dragon, and I'm playing uh, Draco Knight, uh, Dragon Knight, Draco Quest, because this beast. Like Mana Diem or like the Synchron Piles, if you have Super Poly, because they're gonna end on like Crimson Dragon and some other card or Baron. And if you can Super Poly that away, or Dispater or Baron, like you just get rid of two cards for one, which is good. And this is also win, so if you have this, and they, if you're playing with Mana Diem, they have Appalooza, Dispater, Appalooza. This is also win, so you summon this. If you have a second Super Poly, you can summon uh, my Dragon. So, it, it, it could come up. And then last fusion I'm playing Guardian Chimera, because uh, it, it comes up sometimes going second. So this is a pretty heavy fusion pile, so you can't kind of lose a D-Barrier, but the other three cards you play kind of help prevent that. So you play Cross Sheep, there in Redoer. So normally you can end on cross sheet with like some random cards and that'll still let you play in your opponent's turn if you get debarriered. But it, it could be hard breaking through a board, but like these are like the only three that you need for the most part. Uh, I thought about playing Asus Code just for like an easier way to kill, but yeah, these are fine. Uh, side duck, playing three trolls because trolls are really good right now. Uh, this could probably be in the main deck, but I like Super Poly more than my non-engine. Uh, I'm playing tanks. I have an extra slot. This is also decent against Labyrinth to help play problematic like Blood Gates. Uh, Shadow Dragon. Uh, this is also good against like Labyrinth and like other like most a lot of decks end on like spell trap cards, so like Shadow Dragon comes up a lot. And then playing three shell fusion. Uh, this is like one of the main way, reason why you play this deck. This card is really good going second. Because you send a uh, Shadal card and a Gito or Kelbeck, and that way you get like crazy pluses. And you can always like chain block your Gito Kelbeck, so you can always guarantee a no 5 with a check and hug If you have a Shadal card in hand, then it's even more value because you have an extra negate. And a pair with Shadal Fusion, I'm playing two Thrust. The Thrust searches for Shadal Fusion, and it also searches for Talons, Duster, and I'm playing Herald as a fairly uh, Nora out. It's also now two Arise Heart, so. Like I said, I don't. I'm not really prepped for Cash Tira, but like these cards also just like just dumpster Cash Tira. So these cards are also all good. And last for my trust target, I'm playing D Barrier. D Barrier is also really good right now against like the Synchron decks. Cause like they're playing hand traps, it's like live their turn and they try to like combo off on you with this and then you D Barrier them. It's also good against Pearly. Uh, yeah. And the last card is Eradicator. Like, could be a Daruma Cannon. I just wanted a, another generic card for decks that don't lose the D barrier for Thrust. But realistically, the side could be very flexible. Probably play Nib somewhere if I wanted to. Like these cards are like mm, these cards are all pretty flexible. This can also be cut. You could probably cut like four of these cards if you wanted to. Yeah, that's the deck profile. Awesome. Any shoutouts? Uh, shout out, I guess shout out to the guys in the photo. Uh, they were the boys at Nats. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks very much for the deck profile, Thomas. Don't forget to like and subscribe.